Did you know that Australia's Great Barrier Reef is the largest living structure on Earth and can be seen from space? Yes, that's right. This vibrant expanse stretches over 2,000 kilometers, housing a mesmerizing variety of marine life. It's not just a reef, it's a thriving underwater metropolis, buzzing with activity at every turn. Imagine bustling cities, teeming with life, but beneath the ocean's surface. Streets are replaced with vibrant coral alleys, skyscrapers with towering sea sponges. Instead of cars and pedestrians, you'll find schools of fish darting about, while sea turtles glide gracefully overhead. This is a place where every creature, from the tiniest plankton to the massive humpback whale, plays a crucial role in maintaining the balance of this delicate ecosystem. These underwater cities are not just awe-inspiring, they are vital. They protect coastlines, provide habitats for countless species, and even contribute to the air we breathe. But have you ever wondered how these amazing underwater cities come to life? Our journey begins with a single coral polyp, a tiny creature that serves as the architect of these sprawling reefs. This small organism, barely visible to the naked eye, is the master builder of the ocean's most diverse ecosystems. Imagine this. A single coral polyp begins by cloning itself, creating identical siblings that join together to form a coral colony. Each of these polyps secretes a hard calcium carbonate skeleton, which over time accumulates to create the intricate and complex structure we know as a coral reef. But the birth of a reef isn't limited to cloning. There's also a fascinating process known as coral spawning. In this remarkable event, corals synchronously release their eggs and sperm into the water, filling the ocean with a snowstorm of potential new life. These eggs and sperm unite, forming new coral polyps that will eventually establish their own colonies. And so, from a single polyp, a coral colony is born, paving the way for an entire reef. As these colonies continue to grow, they form the complex, vibrant structures we associate with coral reefs. The process is slow, yet relentless, sculpting a unique habitat for a plethora of marine species over centuries. The reef's growth is a testament to the power of collective effort, with each coral polyp contributing to the larger structure. Consider the symbiotic relationship between the coral and algae, known as zooxanthellae. The algae live within the coral tissues, providing them with essential nutrients through photosynthesis. In return, the coral offers the algae a protected environment and the compounds necessary for photosynthesis. This relationship not only sustains the reef, but also gives it its dazzling array of colors. A thriving reef is more than just coral and algae. It's a bustling underwater metropolis, home to countless species of fish, mollusks, crustaceans and other marine life. Each organism plays a part in the reef's life cycle, contributing to its growth and survival. In this way, the reef grows and thrives, a bustling underwater city teeming with life. But the life of a coral reef is not without its challenges. Indeed, these vibrant underwater sanctuaries face a barrage of threats, from the warming of our world's oceans due to climate change to the relentless pollution that taints their waters, the coral reefs are under siege. They are caught in the crossfire of human activity and natural disasters, and yet they persist. Despite the adversities, these reefs showcase a remarkable resilience, a testament to the power of life. They regenerate, they grow and they flourish. Each new polyp, every vibrant colony is a beacon of hope in the deep blue. Their existence is a testament to the strength and tenacity of life, to its unwavering determination to survive, to thrive. In the face of adversity, the coral reefs stand firm, a beacon of resilience and regeneration. They teach us the value of persistence and the power of life. And so, the life cycle of a coral reef continues, a testament to the enduring power of nature.